What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory Update 7. This is episode 56. Uh, it is currently Tuesday when I'm recording this episode. So yeah, and I'll probably edit it tonight. When I'm back home and Patreon should get access to it around that time too. Anyway guys, I am... Um, we already know what we're gonna do this episode. Did I put fuel in my jetpack? Okay, I did. I uh, remember last episode we expanded that area to get some more silica. Yeah, silica produced so that we can ramp up the production of aluminum ingots. The reason for that is we are going to try to automate the production of aluminum sheets, which needs aluminum ingots and copper ingots. So as we're already using the current amount of aluminum ingots for uh, the aluminum casings, we need to ramp up the production in order to get enough to be used for both of them at the same time. Delicious. Over here, and see if you can get that. Work it. So, guys, remember the top floor is where the remote control, radio control units are. So, let's see how this guy's doing. He's still emptying. Uh, if you guys remember last uh, episode, let me empty out what I have in me so that this piece. Where is it? If you guys remember last episode, we figured out that this actually produces 360 per minute, which I didn't know. It's not even overclocked, which means that I can't really have it. Have two of them, which was actually filling up our storage and backing up everything. Where did that one go? I'm just emptying this out quick here. And once that backs up our storage and this is full, it won't be pulling the um, fuel, fluid from on this thing, which would stop this silica uh, from being produced. Just a weird predicament. Alright, so let's go up to the second floor. As you can already see here, we already have a bit more iron ingots going across there. As these guys are constantly getting silica and not Lock in silica as they were before. So we do have a constant flow of the iron across here for these guys to make uh, the casings. We need to take some from that and probably make a bit of an expansion. Like right where we did the expansion for the silica downstairs, we can build like a another section for the Oh no wait those guys take up more space than I think. Rip. I wish there was like a soup function for this 
tam Demolish Just as there's one for the building Hop across to this guy across there. Easier to demolish on there. So we did add all these walls a couple episodes ago. Now we're breaking down the walls to add more productions to this building. You have to add one to the this guy. Come on, snap, jeez. Two more. Right, I'm gonna probably use this space here for the production. So, um, let's take copper and uh, copper ingots and, um, Um, aluminum ingots. I need to find. Can't remember if it's a copper deposit nearby that I can use, or do I have to pull a couple from one of the ones that I already have? I think there was a couple. Two hundred meters in that direction, and then there's this one. Two hundred meters right there. Okay, so there's one two hundred meters. Oh, that's one down by the um explorer, I think, maybe. Okay, let's go see where this one is first, and. Then we'll go check the one by the explorer and see where that one is. 200. It looks like right, all oh, right. Yeah. I knew that was copper, I think I saw when I was running a line for the oxide. Yeah, so there is, never mind, we're not going back down there. So there is this copper deposit right here that we can use for these sheets may have to build a small factory right here get rid of those guys and build a small factory here to turn turn them into ingots and send them up to the other huh okay so let's plan out what we're gonna need Probably gonna need an, an assembler to make the sheets cycle. Uh but to start off we're gonna need a Dragon Mark two. I need two Oh 
to mark on smelters um that's smelters miners uh so it's four smelters and then when it goes up to the other base we're gonna need roughly two assemblers probably I think that's all I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna have to use conveyor belts to second so just deal with this guy here. Oh nice, put a drop in. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so yeah, the aim just above him. Oh, he's not dead yet. Hey, you kill him. Sorry, I'm bitch. So oops guys I that would let me go out to the main base and get some stuff to start building this stuff. Uh I could get some cables, some rotors, and two. Yeah. I should probably top up on iron sheets and uh, concrete because I'm gonna actually build a foundation for the smelters. Oh, there is your wrong foundation for there. There's a two meter foundations. Let's fix this here. And anyway, I see bottom floor at two meter foundations. I know I could actually put the smelters right underneath here and have some use for the piece under here. So probably a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build down right underneath and have the smelters underneath here. To take up this little bit of space we have under the oxide building. And I should probably build a, probably do this after or something. I should probably build a, a hypertube connection. 
So I don't have to do all this time running. See if I have any tickets available for me. There it is. So I can get cables, copper factory right there, iron from across there, and I can get rotors right here because I need rotors to make motors in the copper factory. That's the thing. Get rotors from there. Just need two more cables. I should probably get more than two more because. I need some to wire up the um, smelters and mines. Just like Tortron. Yeah. And I need to go equipment workshop to make that those two miners.
back from the build montage session. Hi, Boxside. And just jump on the truck, take a trip up to the Boxside mine and see what exactly. Alright, alright, no, 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 no. Well, I guess I'm not gonna head up there. Did I put. Mm, yeah, I think I did. I'm not sure if I placed the Mark II. Um, I'm sure if I, I did Mark II mines on the bauxite side. And if I even. I'm already out of bauxite, what the frick. How much per minute is it bringing it in right now? Uh, so it's currently bringing in a eight stacks per minute. Eight stacks of bauxite. I think bauxite stacks to like one hundred and something. That's five hundred per minute. I remember how much it stacked to. So, I know our bottleneck right now with this whole system that we just made is the. I forgot I'm out of here just when I reached on top. Go figures. Is the bauxite mine, which we will have to get to sometime and see if we can optimize that to supply enough bauxite for these six. Let me see. Do some calculation here. These taking one twenty bauxite per minute. One twenty by how much do I have? One twenty by one. One two three. One one twenty by six. That would be. Right, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. My brain just decided not to work. Seven hundred and twenty. Right, six to six to uh, two. Maybe right. I'm not sure. My maths is kind of off sometimes. I should be seeing these guys upstairs working. If I don't get stuck. In between that. Right. But it's easy. Yeah, there is some coming across. So we are producing the plates. But it's just not as fast as we could. We already have a little bit here. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. How much plates do they produce a minute? 30 plates per minute. Okay. Understandable, so we're getting a plate for each um, ingot, alumina ingot that we use. Okay. Because it intakes 30 alumina ingots per minute and outputs. 30 aluminum sheets per minute, so yeah. A couple of you might not because you have a dedicated copper source anyway. Okay, so we do have that. How much do we need for that? 100. We should make the 100 by the end of the episode. Uh, not sure about casings because those are currently in use, which is what I was supposed to separate. So it's a separate one. One of these to not go into the
actually go into storage. So that's one of the personal use. As soon as it gets stuff, which right now it's the bottleneck is the oxide. Pin in the ass. <laughs> Jeez. So if I was supposed to ramp up the bauxite production, and go and see truck is back yet. It's even on its way back yet. See sulfur on I think this if I remember right, this train has sulfur quartz um smokeless black powder and steel pipes or something on it. And until they will quartz mine the sulfur mine, which is like right about there, yeah, and the weapons factory. <coughs> okay, but while we're waiting on that, I could make. Should have a good one workshop. Just in case I don't, let me make one here. That's another miner because I do have a mine up there that I can salvage one from. I mean, I don't have everything that I need, but let me hop on this one just so that I have a ride across to the okay, So while I'm on my way up there, uh, frick. I may have to find a way to make that up there. Probably have to delete that node there. guys so we are currently heading up to the bauxite mine to see if there's any way that we can solve the bottleneck that's currently stopping the bauxite the aluminum factory from producing the way it should And there's a uranium deposit across there. Whenever we decide to get nuclear power. Bye bye.
Guys need to deal with those guys too. Oh my god, all the enemies in this area respawned. So the enemies are by the box side. Mine is probably still there. Rip. There is box icon down here, and I also see a limit. Uh, is about to mark one or mark two. Uh, so the box side is flowing slower than I would hope that it would. So that is another fact. I need to get a bunch of um, I call that thing in case industrial beams and come down here to optimize the. Oxide flow to the main base. I would probably do that off camera. Because it's gonna take a while. So I have to go all the way back to the main base. Then go over to the sea factory. Get the in case industrial beams. And come all the way back up here. And upgrade those belts. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of in case industrial beams. Let me just double check on what mine I placed on. Let me reload just in case I freaking shoot something. I almost shot him, but then I realized what it was. A mark two. Oh, it's a mark one, which is also what we need to optimize. Um, but for me to optimize that, I need a much modular frames. Ten. Let me just optimize this one, and then we're gonna. Well, I have some green case inertia beams on me, so I'm gonna try to get that sorted. I have enough for a couple. I just need 10. Now what we can do is demolish this guy. Build a mark two in its base. We'll back up the power as soon as my down. Remember where the power line was. And the slug respond. Uh, I see it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't even have enough to continue from there. So, as you can see, the issue right now. Uh, so, we're going to come back and fix. Actually, we're going to do this off camera. I would wrap it up there for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Satisfactory episode, the Satisfactory series, which has been running from update 5 to current update, which is update 7. And we should go into update 8 also. Just for some of you guys who are new to the channel, uh, Satisfactory series would normally be released every Saturdays at 10 a.m. EST. Patrons do get access to the episode, unedited episode, earlier. And they also get access to the save file for each episode. Uh, oh. So if you guys want to get access to some of those stuff, you guys can support the channel on Patreon. Uh, also, when I... I'm able to do memberships on YouTube. I would also give the members on YouTube that also. All right, so I'm just going to run back to the main base. Hopefully the truck is still there. It's probably not. I'm just going to head back to the main base. At least we got the mine upgraded on camera. And back to the main base, got a thumbnail of our main focus this episode, which was getting the... Aluminum sheets automated. And then I'm going to save the episode. Save the game. Actually, I'm not going to save the game. I'll come, out, come back up here. Uh, upgrade those spells. Then save the game. And yeah, that's about going to be it. Guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys new, don't forget to drop a like, hit the subscribe, and click on the bell icon. Get notified when I release satisfactory episodes every Saturdays and also when I do live streams. As of recording, I did a live stream yesterday, which was really fun and a bit ridiculous. But anyway, you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Enjoy your day.